Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Recently I showcased a level with this clown car with fire bars on it. A lot of you wanted to know how to do this, so this tutorial will show you how to do that along with other enemy types. You can also use jet engines with this chain chomp here, it looks really cool. I'll show you how to do this in the video as well. Here's a magic koopa shooting out five cannonballs in addition to its magic spell. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is place down eight fire bars, and then we're going to put it at eight different angles. Just follow along with the angles I make in the video. They don't have to be exact, as long as they're pretty close, it'll look right. Then we're going to place down eight tracks on the left side over here. I accidentally only placed seven, but I'll add my eighth one in a second. Tap the ends so that they're all open-ended. I'm going to move them back just one more space. I'm going to go ahead and put all the fire bars onto the tracks, and then I'm going to tap the fire bars until the arrow face is right. That way they'll go straight off and fall down to the next track that we'll put down. I went ahead and added my eighth track here since I forgot it. Tap the end, put the last fire bar up, make sure it's facing right. Now we'll lay down a track for all these to land on. Now when we hit start, they'll all fall in the same spot and make this little spiral. It's really cool. You actually don't even need the clown car to make this work. It actually looks cool on its own. There is a setup where you can make it fall into the clown car, which I'll show you with the cannonballs later. But here it is with the clown car. We'll go ahead and put the clown car on the track below and put the arrow to the right. Make sure they're all lined up. And now it looks like we have a flaming clown car following us. Here I used a Koopa Troopa. I put a super mushroom on to make him real big. And now we have a moonwalking Koopa Troopa with spinning fire. This is one of the better ones. I put a thwomp down, and now we have a spiral spiky fire bar chasing us. I used a chain chomp and tried it out, and I really like this effect. Because then you have the spinning fire with a random chain chomp jumping out to get you. Here's a little course I made real quick just to show you ideas what you could do with this. I have the chain chomp fire bar and then I have additional fire bars coming at me that I have to jump over. Now I'm going to show you how to do the cannonball trick with the clown car. On this one you need to make the bottom track one up from the ground so that the clown car clips into the ground. Now we'll need five tracks all open ended and five cannonballs. Now make sure you put these in all five different directions. Then we'll drag those onto the track. Make sure you tap them so that they go off to the right. All the arrows need to be facing right. Now when we hit play, all the cannonballs will fall into the clown car. And now the clown car appears to be shooting out five cannonballs. If you don't clip the clown car into the ground, the cannonball will take control of the clown car and come after you. So you have to make sure you have ground under it just like this. Now it should work perfectly. This also works with other enemy types. Now we have a chain chomp that shoots out five cannonballs. Here's a thwomp shooting out five cannonballs, which I think looks really cool. Here's a Bowser, who in addition to his fireballs now has five cannonballs he shoots out. Here's a Magic Koopa with five cannonballs shooting out. And when messing with this, I discovered if you put a P-Switch on the track, you can actually hide a P-Switch behind an enemy. So I have to defeat this boss to get through this door. When I jump on Magic Koopa, it reveals the P-Switch. I can jump on the P-Switch, go through the door, and then of course finish the level. The jet engines are really easy. For the jet engines, you only need to put them in four different directions. Now we'll obviously need four tracks, all open-ended, and then we'll put all four of the jet engines on the tracks. Make sure they're all going to the right, just like before. Now when we hit play, the Magic Koopa now shoots out flames in addition to his magic spell. Definitely makes the enemy more difficult. This one I thought looked really cool. We have a flaming chain chomp. It just adds yet another obstacle to deal with, so it won't be as easy to spin jump on his head. Here's the original level that I showcased and how he used it. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and hopefully this gives you some ideas for your levels. Till next time guys, I'll see you around.